couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there Lick and Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lick and Riff and this time buckle up because we're gonna learn November Rain. The whole song, solos included, everything. I'm gonna play you the arrangement first so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord with tabs right here on the screen for your convenience so you can play it yourself. But first I have to play it so it goes like this. Enjoy, wish me luck.
let's take a deep breath, okay? This is gonna be a long lesson, both for you and for me. And this song has many, many different parts, right? So I suggest you practice each part and memorize that before moving on to the next one. It will help you to memorize the whole song because um, many of the melodies actually repeat themselves uh, with rhythmic variations. So by memorizing one part, it'll make it easier for you to memorize the next one. Trust me on this. Right, so um, start with the D string, just the open D string. Then you have okay, two more D notes. You have uh, three different D notes here and three different octaves. So it's seven and 10 on strings three and one. Okay? And I play them as a phlegm. A phlegm is when you play them together, but not entirely together, just one after the other very quickly. Ta-dum, okay? Okay, not this, this, okay, uh, just for effect. In my opinion, it sounds better than just okay, playing this because it's just one color. If you do this, you get, you get an effect, you get a rhythm. Uh, it's a slight difference, but that usually is what makes the whole difference. Uh, and then you play a D chord, okay, it's just a D chord, and then you have Okay, zero, two, four, five on the E string. Okay, you can hammer on the four. You can slide to five. Then you have A over C sharp. I bar the second fret with four on the fifth string, four on the A string, and then it's an arpeggio. Okay, four, two, two on strings, five, four, three. And then, Okay, four on the third string, two, three pull off to two on the second, four pull off to two on the third. Okay, all with A over C sharp on. Okay, I'm trying to slow it down. Okay, um, then you have B minor. Okay, just the B minor chord. I play strings two to five. Then, okay, okay, it's the same notes as before, okay? Um, it's almost always the same notes here in this song. Um, it's three, three, pull off to two, two on the second string, okay? And then four on the third, then back to A, okay? Again, strings two to five. Then again, okay, the same notes, slightly different. Um, two, three pull off to two on the second string, four pull off to two on the third. So, then the D line again. Okay, then you have B minor. You can just play the bass or a B5 chord, strings five, four, three, and then, okay, okay, which is exactly the same B minor line that you played before. Three, three pull off to two on the second string, only this time you don't play the two again, okay? Again, it's the same line, just a slight variation, minus one note, and then four pull off to two on the third string, so it's And then it's A again, this time A5. So you put on the A chord again and play strings three, four, five, instead of two, three, four, five. Again, it's all the same thing, just slight variations. That's why I really a strongly advocate memorizing each part before moving on. Then you have yeah, you have A sus4, so it's A with three on the second string, I arpeggiate, and then I play the E string with the chord, without the chord, and I arpeggiate again, then, okay, then three, two on the second string, then D again, and then you have this, okay? Again, same idea, different execution, zero, two, four, five, four, two, zero on the E string, so, Okay, you can solo the whole thing. You can do a double hammer-on. Okay, zero, two, four, and then, okay, five, slide to four, two pull off to zero, any way you wanna play it. Okay, even giving short notes, picked notes is fine. However you wanna play it is fine. It's my arrangement, but you play it any way you want to. And then uh, you end up on. A over C sharp again. So it's two, 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 four on strings two to five. 
Okay, this again, the bar on two, four on the fifth. So, and then two, two on the second string, four, four, pull off to two on the third, B minor. And then this again. Okay, again, first line with that extra note, three, two, uh, three, three, two, two on the second, four on the third, and then A again, springs five, four, three, and then you can play a natural harmonic on 12 on the E string. So, yeah, you can let go of the chord if you like. All right? You can play the open second string. Okay, and uh, you can play, okay, you can play both of them as a harmonic strings one and two. Uh, the A sus two doesn't really change much. Then you start the second half of the intro. Okay, that was the first half. So let's go over it again. D octave, D, A over C sharp, B minor, okay, A, D line again. Ah, no. The first one, then B minor. Five. A sus D A over C sharp B minor okay. A and the harmonic if you like. You don't have to play it. You can just arpeggiate the A. Second half begins with D over F sharp. So I put on a D chord, but I don't put on the whole D chord because we don't need it here. You can, you can put the whole D chord on with two on the sixth string with your thumb. Okay? You can do this, but it's really inconvenient. You can do it like this and it's a lot more convenient and healthier for the wrist, okay, for the tendons. Okay? So um, you arpeggiate the chord, okay, strings six, four, three, two. And then you play three slide to two or three pull off to two on the second string. All right? Then, okay, the open E string twice with two on the fifth string on the second time, okay, the B bass. And then two on the second string. And then you have, okay, again, variation on the same line. Three, three pull off to two, two on the second string, and then the open second string instead of four on the fourth. It's uh, four on the third. It's the same note. Okay, it's the same note. Okay, but here, because you need to put on A, easier to pull off, because you don't have the whole chord on. Okay, if you had the whole chord on, you'd play the, th the third string, but here, okay. And then you have the D and B minor line again, okay? The whole thing, okay? Arpeggio. Okay, this, and then you have, okay? It's zero, two, three on the second string, hammer on, slide, okay, or don't slide, okay, or don't hammer on. Any way you wanna play it is fine. Then three again, then the open E string, then A again, okay? Then three on the second string, two pull off to zero on the second string, and the open E string. And that's the end of the intro. So D over F sharp, okay? B minor, B sus technically, B sus at 11 technically. That's why chord names don't really matter here, as long as it's, you, you know that it's B minor in the song. Um, then you have the D over, over B, over F sharp again, B minor again, A, okay, sus, okay, and then you complete the arpeggio with the space you have left. Again, don't overcomplicate it, single notes, Nothing fancy, slow, slow, smooth, emotional. Feel the song, okay? Um, okay, so we're done with one part, which consists of two halves, so we have um, 11 more parts to go. 
Uh, the verse is short. It's, it's actually very, very short. Um, it's uh, D over F sharp again, but you need a slightly different, uh, slightly different fingering here. Right? Because you have to solo it. You can do it like this. Right? If you like how it sounds. But this kind of gives you an A sus2 chord, okay, with the open second string. That's why I prefer to solo it. Okay? Because then the ear kind of remains on D, on D over F sharp. If you like the open second string, replace the four on the third string with that. Okay, so it's the F sharp bass. Okay, and I play strings three and four to play the D bass, the D string, and it's two, two, four, two, four on the third string. And then two on the second string, and then you bar the second fret. Okay, you play strings uh, three and five, and then four on the fourth. Okay, technically this is B7, but this is still B minor in the context of the song. And then you have this. Right? Again, same idea into A. Okay, the same, uh, kind of the same melody line between B minor and A. Okay, so if you've memorized the intro, this should be easy for you. Four on the third. Okay, two, three pull off to two on the second. And then four, two, pull off, don't pull off. Okay, on the third. And then A5 again. Okay, A with strings five, four, three. Okay, so you get this. All right? And then you have this. Okay, which is a variation on the first one. Okay, even fingering wise. This time you do put on the whole D chord. Okay, the whole D chord with F sharp on the bass with your thumb, two on the sixth string. You play the sixth string, then you play the E string on two, then you play the whole chord, okay, with a pull off to zero on the E string. So it's, and then three, two on the second string. Then again, you bar the second fret for B minor. You, you just bar, you play strings two and five this time, and then four on the third. So it's the same shape. First, uh, first time around on strings three and four, second time around on strings two and three. So that's a really nice coincidence uh, that it works this way on the guitar. And then, right, exactly the same line into A. Exactly the same. Four on the third, two, three, pull off to two on the second, four, pull off to two on the third, A5. Exactly the same second line. That's the verse. Short, right? So, okay, D, B minor. Then D again. And you can call it B sus, but again, I treat this as B minor. And then, then same line to A. Now the chorus. You start again with the same shape that you just put on for B minor. Okay, bar on two, four on the third string. You play. Okay. Two on the fifth string. Okay, and then. Two, two on the second string, okay, just the bar, and then four on the third, two on the second again. Okay, you can play the bass again, you can play both strings, okay. And then the open E string, giving you time to move to E major, okay, and you play this, okay. Hammer on to two, zero again on the second string, right? Okay? Okay, with your little finger. I play the whole chord. I play strings two, three, four, and six. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then. Okay, it's zero, two, three, two, zero on the second string. Again, any way you like. You can hammer on, you can slide, you can pull off. You can pick some of the notes. You can do a Tommy Emmanuelism. Okay, if you like. But again, don't, don't overdo it. You don't have to take the chord off, I'm just taking it off to emphasize my hand movement. Okay, it's all with the chord with the little finger. And then A again, A5. It's 
strings, five, four, three. And then you have this. Okay, it's three, three, pull off to two, if you're uh, barring the A. Okay, if not, it's a slide. Okay, three, three, slide to two, if you're putting on the fingers. If you're putting on these fingers, you can pull off. Okay, and then just the chord, strings one, one, two. Okay, so, and then you have this. Okay, again, the same melody notes, different rhythm. I bar the second fret for A, and it's uh, three pull off to two on the second string, four pull off to two on the third, twice. Right, so it's. Right, and then you have the B minor again. This time you put on the whole chord, okay? And you play strings five, four, three as a B5 chord, and then the melody is. You can do the same melody, or, okay, but uh, what I wrote in the tab is the, the second fret on the second string again, so you don't put on the three on the second string. It's B sus, technically, okay, for the purposes of this arrangement, the harmony is still B minor, but you put on a B sus chord, a B sus, B sus two chord, okay? So, uh, strings. Three, three, two, three, two, open E, okay, open first string, and then the E and A lines again, exactly the same. Okay. And then you have the bridge. Okay, so let's go over the chorus again. Okay, B, let's call it minor to E. A5. Okay, the solo. And then B minor. Okay. You can play the whole chord the first time around, actually. Okay, just to hear the, the minor sound. And then okay, it's the same line or with the slight variation closer to the lyrics. Okay, and then okay. E and A line again. D over F sharp. Bass again, you play two on the E string and then the, the whole D chord with a pull off to zero and then three two on the second string. This is actually exactly the same way you played it the last time you put on this chord. Okay, that's why I wanted you to memorize the previous part because it's the same, exactly the same thing. Okay, and then you have this. Okay. It's five on the second string, two on the fifth, two on the, the second, four on the third. You build the chord as you go along. Okay? Um, right? And then you have this again. Guess what? The same melody line into A. Okay? But this time, it's completely different. Okay, it's the same notes, but in a new arrangement. So four on the third, three, two on the second, four on the third, two on the second, and then A, okay, A5. So you get this. Okay, you can repeat the fourth. Okay, you, you can just let it ring. Then you have, uh, you have this beautiful line. Okay, this. Okay. Okay. So it's D over F sharp, then B minor, then A. Okay, but um, the main thing to remember is that you're playing two pull off to zero twice, two two on the E string with D my uh, with D and B minor. So it's D over F sharp. You play the whole chord. Okay, strings one two three and six. You do the two pull off to zero, two pull off to zero, two two on the E string. You can play the whole chord again. Okay, you do it twice, then. You take the thumb off, you take this finger to two on the fifth string for B minor. It's not the whole chord, okay? 
Um, this is more of a E minor 7 uh, add 9 chord. Um, so you just play strings 1, 2, and 5. Just 1, 2, and 5 because you need B minor. You don't need E minor 7 add 9. So you do the, th the same thing. Okay? And then you have this. Okay? It's still B minor, still the same fingering. And you have 2, 5, 2, 0 on the E string and then okay, tuple off to 0 with A, with the open A string. And then I put the whole chord and I pick it. I pick strings 1, 2, and 3 to show that the harmony is there. So okay, you play the bass first with the tuple off to 0 and then the chord. Okay, the bass is supposed to still be ringing. So. That's how you do the line. And then you have okay, three on the second string, A sus four, and then the first string, the second string, two on the second string. Again, you can slide, okay, you can uh, pull off, okay, but why? This is a slow line, okay, just pick the whole thing. That's just my opinion here. And then the open second string, A sus 2, and then 2 on the third string, and then you do the whole D, B minor, and A lines again. Same thing, okay? So that's the bridge, D over F sharp. Build the chord, A, and then everything we just played. play this enough we can hopefully move on you play the chorus again this time okay this is uh, this is the next part okay it's it's 13 parts to learn it's about 15 or 16 parts to play but we already learned the chorus okay. Okay. the B minor E and A lines right Twice, so we can move on to the post chorus. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts. Okay, so this is almost entirely a solo part. Um, so it's two hammer on to four on the third string, three on the second string. You can play you can play it with the D string or right before it. Okay, I like to play it afterwards. Okay, you can play it like this. Okay? If you like, I like to play it uh, separately. Okay? And then two on the second string, two on the third string. Then you slide to four on the third, two on the second, four on the third again, and then the E bass. Okay? Is, it, is it in tune? It's not in tune. All right, so. Okay? And then uh, you have the first line again. And then you have this. Okay? So it's two on the third string. Four, four, pull off to two or slide to two on the fourth. Okay? And be between the four and the two, you play the E bass string. So it's. Okay? Or. Okay? You play the E bass in between. Then you play 4-4, four, four, E bass, and then slide to 2. I still think that's slightly off. So, okay. So, the E at the end. In between. And then, slide to 3 on the second string, and vibrate it. This is supposed to be kind of a solo thing. And then, and then you have... Um, Okay, kind of a variation on the first one. It's three on the second string, four on the set on the on the on the third. And then again, three on the second, D string, two on the second, two on the third. Okay? So instead of two hammer on to four, you have three and four on strings two and three, then the rest of the first line. So and then you have a variation on the second line. Okay, slide to four on the third. 
two two on the second, E bass, four on the third. Then you slide to five, okay, and you vibrate it, and then triple after two twice on the second, and then three two with the D string, and then two on the third. Okay, third time I don't pull off. Okay, just to imitate the lyrics. Okay, I also play it as short notes, and then that uh, that I think it's the the fourth line. Two on the third, four, four, pull off to two on the fourth with the E bass in between the four and the two. Okay? So that's the post chorus. Very slowly. Two. Uh, sorry. Yeah, up. Method up. Uh, so again. Okay, and then the bridge. Okay, C sharp minor. Okay, so bar on four, A minor shape. You don't have to put the whole thing on, but do it anyway, just in case you accidentally play a different string. Fifth string. You can slide. Okay, and then. Okay, it's 6-4 on the 3rd string, I play it with the 4 on the 4th to harmonize. And then you have 4-2-2-4 okay, four, two, two, four on the 3rd with D, so... Okay, so again, 4 on the 5th, 6-4 on the 3rd, 4-2-2-4 four, two, two, four on the 3rd with D. And then you have this. Okay, now this is technically an A chord. Okay, just strings two, one, two with the A bass, but I prefer to play it like this. Okay, to give it a little bit of flavor. So I slide from one to two on the second string, then I play strings one and two again. I, I slide with the A bass. All right? And then you have uh, this again, the C sharp minor chord. Uh, but you need the four on the third string this time, so you can just put the bar on. Or you can put six on the on the fourth, the, the D string. So you can do right, you can harmonize. If not, just right? so it's basically the four on the fifth. Okay, right, four and four uh, on the on the third string with D. Two two, four on the fourth, and then you have this. Back to the E chord, so it's two on the second string. I play the E bass to give me time to put on the chord, and then I play the chord. So it's, okay, I do this. Okay, two on the second, sixth string, then the E chord. Okay, strings two, three, and four, or two, or just two and three. Okay, uh, what's important here is the major sound. Okay, the, the one on the third string. So um, then, then you have this. Okay. It's, uh, it's the same thing that you did on the chorus, but instead of going to A, you're going back to C sharp minor, and you play the whole thing again. So E, okay. it's 0, 2, 3, 2, 0 on the second, 2 on the third. And then, then you play the C sharp, but uh, you needed to play the six on the fourth, to complete the solo line. Okay, and then you have the, the whole thing again. And then. Okay. Again, it's 202 on strings 212, but this time with an E chord. It's not an A chord. Okay, and then. You can do three slide to two zero on the second string. Okay. And then you have the solo. So the bridge again. Okay, C sharp minor. D. And then A. Okay, with a solo. Then D. Okay. 
E. Okay, C sharp five, and then the the whole thing, same thing. D. Okay, two zero two five two zero. Okay, you can pull off. D. On the E string, two, pull off a zero, two, five, two, zero, five with your little finger. B minor, same line, but you need a different fingering, right? So, B minor, strings one, two, three, and five. And then, two on the E string, five on the B string, two on the E string, five, two on the E string, five, three on the second string, and then A. And then five on the E string. So A, I bar for A. Two to two, zero on strings two to five. Okay, and then five on the E string. And then, okay, two pull off to, uh, three pull off to two, hammer on to three. Okay, on the second string. Okay, three pull off to two, hammer on to three. And then two again, you pick it. Okay, you can do it like this. Okay, but this is kind of lame. You lose the sustain uh, by the time you get to the last note. Okay? And it needs the uh, it needs the accentuation. Okay? You can also play the three. Okay? Then you have a solo. Okay? It's four pull off to two on the third. And then A with four slide to six. Five on the second. Six slide to four, back down on the third, and then two. And then D to B minor again. Then you start the same way, and then you have five seven five. Okay, so it's two five two on strings one two and one, and then five seven five. You kind of need to slide because it's the little finger. So, and then this A chord, D shape on nine nine ten nine with the fifth string, and then you have this. Okay, it's the A bass is still ringing, and then five seven pull off to five on the E string, five, uh, seven on the fifth on the second string. Sorry, too many numbers. Seven on the second string, five on the first string. Immediately you slide to ten on the second string. Okay, the A still ringing. Okay, you can even play it. Okay, with the first note, nobody says you can't. Um, and then you have this beautiful line. Okay. Okay, so uh, still A. So you play the A again. You have two uh, with ten. Uh, yeah, ten. Pull off to nine on the E string. Ten on the B string. You do it twice. And then you bend ten on the E string. And then ten on the E string again. You vibrate it with D with D. Okay, so then you have this. Right? It's seven hammer on to nine ten on the E string. And then nine ten nine hammer on pull off. And then B minor. Bar on seven, one, two, three, and six. Okay, I allow myself to just breeze through it because uh, it's not a difficult solo. If if a line needs explaining like the one with the slide, then I slow down a little bit. But Okay, this is not a difficult line. Okay, so I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast, but this is an online lesson. So, um, um, 7, 9, 10, 12 on the E string, so you can do it with the bar. Okay, you can just extend your little finger a little bit. Okay, you can just let go. And then, okay, you're gonna play A again, so it doesn't matter if you have just no harmony for a second there. Uh, 10 pull off to 9 again on E, and then 10 9 with A. Okay? Yep, it is still in, still in tune. Okay, I don't know why I keep hearing things out of tune. And then, 
Uh, sorry? 17. Right? 17 on the E string. Okay, you can play the A again. And then you have this. Okay, it's um okay, it's still A. Uh, 14 three times, pull off to 12 or slide to 12 on E. Okay, you can slide or you can pull off. Okay, and then Okay, it's the same motif, exactly the same sort of line. This time it's 12, 12, 12 to 10. 10, 10, 10 to 9. Okay, you can slide. And then 9, 9, 9 to 7. And then 10 again on the E string with D. So let's recap. 17. And then. Okay, just single notes all the way. The same motif, three notes, slide, and then, okay, another D octave there, double octave, 10 on the E string with the D string, okay, easy, you, taking it easy so far, you're taking it slow, I hope you're not trying to learn the whole thing in one go, um, and then you have this, now, um, okay, this is a little bit of a variation on what he plays there, just to make it an acoustic solo because you can't really imitate uh, an electric guitar solo all the way on an acoustic. I play 9-10 and then a hammer on pull off. Okay, 9-10-9 and then hammer on from 7 to 9. Bar 7 and place frames 1, 2, 3 and 6 for B minor again. And then I just play uh, sort of a... Um, sort of a... Okay, just a half arpeggio, half... Um, Dorian lick there. Uh, I play the chord again and then uh, 10, 9, 7 on the second string, 9, 7, 6 on the third string. Uh, when I play the 6, I play the A bass with it. So, okay, um, and then I play 5 on the E string. Now, this forms an A chord. Okay, so when you play this, you're actually playing a a major harmony, the six and zero on strings three and five. So, and then, okay, still A all the way. Six hammer on to seven, six on the uh, third string, five on the E string, twice. Okay, and then the third time, okay slide to nine with your little finger on the E string, right? So uh, you're done with the first solo. Uh, so congratulations. Let's go over this again. D and B minor. A. D again. B minor slightly different. Going up. that solo, that blue solo line, and then that bending line, B minor, and 17, going down, D, B minor, A chord and nine. Okay, it's all an A chord. Right? This is an octave of this. So when you play this, you're still playing the A minor, uh, the A major sound. Okay? As opposed to this or this, which is A minor, which is what was going through my head. Uh, that's why I made the oral mistake. So um okay. Okay. this is all A. And this is finishing on an octave. Right. Take a deep breath. Okay? Because uh, we still have another solo to go. Okay? You play the post chorus again. Okay? The whole thing. Giving you time to rest because this is slow. There's a lot of space. Okay? The whole thing. And then when you reach the end, 
right? You start the next solo, which builds up like this. Right? I keep playing the E bass continuously with my thumb, and I play four on the third, two, three on the second, zero, two, four, five, seven on the E string. Okay, on the first string. So. Okay, now there's uh, actually a little bit of a problem here because if you play this, okay, then it eats away into the next bar. So if you want to play it absolutely correct, either don't play the four on the third and play this, or don't play the four slide to two, okay? You can uh, substitute it for four on the third. So. you're rhythmically correct, okay? Because if you play this, okay, you kind of start a bar and then start it again. Doesn't sound so good, so. Okay, two on the third, four on the fourth, and then you start the, the solo, okay? You let go of that four pull off to two at the end. So. with D. You have time and then okay, 2 5 2 on the E string, B bass, okay, you bar the second fret, 2 on the fifth string, 5 on the second string. Okay, there's a lot of space at the beginning there. Um, then again, space. Okay, so you, you fill it up or you don't. It's okay not to play anything. So three pull off to two, two on the second string into A. Okay, you don't even have to play the chord. You can play the bass again. And then three, three pull off to two, three on the second, and then the D bass, or with the D bass. And then you have this. Okay, uh, this is where uh, a little bit of madness starts. Two ha uh, zero hammer on to two hammer on to three on the second string open E string then you pull it back down uh, three to two so okay and then I put on B minor and I play this okay um, it's a kind of a poor imitation of what Slash plays there but uh, but what can you do this is uh, an acoustic arrangement acoustic soloing is never supposed to sound like an electric solo if you try to imitate electric playing on an acoustic it will just look embarrassing so um okay three pull off to two two on the second string with the whole b minor chord okay okay then four four pull off to two on the third okay and then four four pull off to two two on the fourth four four again and then Two on the third, four on the fourth. Okay, and then you have this. Okay, A with uh, the fifth string and the first string, and then two two on the third. So you get this. Um, okay, so it makes sense. Slide to four on the fourth, two on the third, first and fifth again, two, two on the third again. So then this again. Slide to four on the fourth, two on the third, then two zero on E with the A bass, and then okay, uh, I do a full legato line here. Two, three, two, zero, three. Uh, hammer on, double pull off, hammer on on the second string. And then two on the second string. So, okay, and then this. Now, if you practice the previous parts, this little solo should feel familiar because we played something like this before. Second string open, two on the third, and then this. Okay, remember this, four slide to six on the third, five on the second, and then four slide to 
four back down on the third. We played this before. And then D, two on the second string into the next verse, okay? The very last one before we play the chorus again and then move on to the awesome, awesome ending. So, solo. Lots of space. Don't be afraid of silence. You can play the A bass. D. B minor. Uh, A. A again. And then. D. Now, uh, the, um, the verse is a little bit different. So you're still play the, the D uh, string is supposed to be ringing. So uh, you see, it's still ringing. So two zero on the E string, three two on the second string, and then you bar two again. You play strings two and five, four on the third string. We haven't played this shape for a long time, right? Feels like years uh, for me. <laughs> I have to actually teach this, and then. Okay, the open, um, the the four on the third again, then the open E string, two on the second, four on the third again, two on the third, and then A five, and then you have D again, just the string. Okay, two four two four on the third, you can do it any way you like. You can hammer on two on the second, and then this. Okay, the first variation. Remember, two and two on strings three and five, and then four on the fourth. And then, right, it's four on the fourth, three two on the second, four two on the third, two again with A, four pull off to two on the fourth. That's the whole verse. Remember, verses are short, so. Then D. Give yourself time. Okay? Again, space. Chorus. Bet you missed it. Okay? This is the last chorus. Now, when you reach the end, the very end, you play this, you play the interlude, the last A chord. It's this. Right? Okay. Um, okay. So it's A5, and then E over G sharp. One, two, and four on strings. Three, four. Yeah, three, four, and uh, six. Okay. Trying really hard to concentrate on all these numbers. Tablature is an awful, awful, awful method of communication. Uh, then D over F sharp. Two, zero, two on strings. Three, four, and six. E chord. Okay. Strings three, four, and six with the open six string. Normal D chord. Strings 1, 2, 3, and 4. E chord. Strings 1, 2, 3, and 6. And you play this twice. A, E over G sharp. D over F sharp. Normal E. Normal D. Normal E. Outro. You just have fun. Finger style fun. With A. F and G, A major, F, G, A, G, and then, okay, I should uh, tell you right now that this is a lot easier than it sounds, right, because this, these are just chords, the, you, you did the difficult parts, okay, this is not a difficult part. 
Sounds difficult, but it's not. It's just chords. You just need to learn some new chord shapes, maybe, but these are just chords. It's A, five, five, six, strings one, two, and three, with A. And then E, D shape on four, four, five, four, six string. Five on the E string, D. Now, it's D with an added solo note, so it's technically D6. It's 777 seven, seven with the D string. So it strings one, two, three, and four on 7770. Seven, seven, then 10-9 on the second string. And then you do this. C6, which is the same as the D6 chord, just down two frets. So it's 5-5-5 five, five, five with three on the fifth string. Okay? And then just Strings two, three, two on five. Okay, still the chord. F, just a normal F chord. No, nothing fancy here. And then, okay, uh, hammer on to one, pull off back to zero on the E string, and then three on the B string. Open E string and the G bass. Okay, three on the sixth string. Then you have this. Again, my variation on what he's playing there. So three on the sixth string, uh, on the second string, three on the sixth string with G, okay? Don't know why I still, uh, my head was still there. Three on the second string, E string, and then A with one pull off to zero twice on the E string, and then again that uh, legato line, one, three, one, zero, three. Hammer on, double pull off, hammer on. Okay, on the second string, one, three, one, zero, three. And then one pull off to zero again on the second string, two pull off to zero on the third, hammer on to two on the fourth, then the third. So again, you can play the A bass again with that uh, second string with one pull off to zero if you like. So uh, you repeat it. Okay, that's the first half of the outro. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even treating this as a part. Otherwise, we're, we're gonna have 14 parts and we can't have that. That's way too many parts. So the A, F, and G chords are just, uh, the, just a bonus. So A, E, five on the E string, then D6, 10, nine on the second string, C6, F, G, A minor. Um, then again, you can slide. get confused just continue continue and play play something over the a minor shape hammering on from zero pulling off to zero uh, as long as you get here in time it's uh, everything works uh, that's a really cool soloing secret to know uh, you can play anything you can play any nonsensical line that you like as long as your last note as a target note as long as your last note is, is right on okay it's it's something out of the chord or something that embellishes the chord Nobody's gonna notice that you, you didn't know what you were doing before that last note. Um, so, okay, I, I, I can demonstrate if you like. Um, okay, see? Um, again. Let's yeah, see. I'm, tr I'm trying to exaggerate uh, on purpose. Just trying to just do something without without thinking about it first. But as long as you you, you land on this on the the high A chord, everything is fine. The second half is it's probably the easiest part of the whole song. It's A minor. Okay, just uh, the bass, the fifth string, then strings four and three, and then the same the the same strings three and four with an E chord with the sixth string. Then this D chord. Okay, you can do this D chord. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do a D chord, the D string, strings three, uh, three and two. Okay, but I like to harmonize here, so I put on the, the C shape bar on two, uh, and I play the fifth uh, string on five, and then strings two, three, and four, just to have a fatter chord. And then the same thing on C, strings two, three, and four is the chord. And then you have B, uh, B. you have uh, F, See, my mind has melted by this point. Um, okay, the, the F chord is just the sixth string, then strings two, 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 and three. Maybe that's why I said the, the B, because I thought about the B string, even though it's a C note. Uh, before my mind completely melts, uh, G. Okay, it's G with the open second string three times, then the third string. Then you have. Minor again, A bass zero two zero two on the on the uh, um, uh, third and fourth strings. I'm losing words here. Uh, you might you might need to call an ambulance. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, uh, you can hammer it on, and then you do it again, and then okay, it's two two zero two zero two, and then two two zero two. And then one and two on strings two and three. It's in the chord, and then strings three and four again. Okay, so let's uh, repeat this, and then you can mix it. Okay, so A minor, E, okay, D, C, F, G, okay, and then A minor, and then you can do this. You know, mix it, and then, and then, um, okay, you can do it like this, or, and then, okay, you can play the chord, and then strings three, uh, two and three, and then F, okay, you can play a mixture of the chord with the solo, okay, with three on the second string, and then this. I like to finish on this because it's strong. It's, uh, it's the guitarist's favorite chord, A minor. Wow, I can't, I, I can't believe we're done with the lesson, actually. I might need a few hours to uh, recuperate after this, but, um, but you got your free lesson. So, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm really actually proud of myself for doing this. So the tab in the description for free. Everything is for free. Everything, everything, everything. The tab, this lesson, the, the 400 lessons on this uh, channel already. So if you're not subscribed to the, uh, to the channel, what are you waiting for? Everything is for free and it's free guitar education. So I'd be more than happy to have you here. There's also a Patreon link in the description if you want to give something back anyway uh, and contribute and support the free lessons. Everything goes right back into Lick and Ref into making these arrangements, uh, making these lessons. It all takes a lot of time and work. So uh, I thank you in advance for your generosity. I appreciate it and um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.